トーナメントファイナル日米のチャンピオンが激突するこの勝負を制するには3本選手の試合を2つ取らなければならない上原君が一本選手二本目は全米チャンピオンアレックスが取った<笑>アレックスが続けて二本ゲット<笑>国内で無敵の強さを誇った梅原君が簡単に1試合取られてしまった続けて2試合目怒涛の攻めが続きまたもやアレックスの勝利なんとか一本を返す梅原君。反撃の兆しが見えてきた<音声>そして一試合取り返すようやく梅原君らしさが出てきた一日<音声>となって最終ラウンド日本チャンピオン<笑>しかし全米チャンピオンも底力を見せる。梅原君がリーチ日本チャンピオン梅原君が世界一の座に輝いた
Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Baye, round of applause. Give it up. So we've got Daigo Umehara versus Alex Baye. Both of these players are, are absolute legends of every fighting game. Daigo from Third Strike, uh, Guilty Gear, CGS, Super Turbo, won national tournaments in the US and Japan in all those games. Which is Alex Baye, who's won off the two tournaments, off the three tournaments. And 2D and 3D, the two absolute legends. So what are your predictions here, sir? And who are you voting for? can't afford to get hit by that uppercut. That's 30 to 40 percent every time. Sagan Skulls is a lot right down the fireball. The right is super driven. Ryu's going to have, have to hit him two to three times for every one uppercut Sagan hits. That's right. Sagan's losing life, but he's got that in the corner. Rue's got the fireball. Sagan's going to have to be careful. Oh, he uses the super bomb. Oh, Tiger made a throw. Put him in the corner. Wow! That's Daigo right there. What a high pressure situation. Daigo, uppercut out. There's that supercharge and a nice. nice. Daigo with a rare mistake. That was a great game. Alex Baye takes game one. But in a true Japanese style, Daigo sticks with Ryu. Oh. Daigo has found his natural habitat in the corner. Supercharge changes the match. The super bomb is confused. Both players very patient. Alex taking maximum advantage. Daigo's trying to build super mean. Missed the uppercut. That could cost him. There's the super. Baye was able to bait the super for full screen, but it's not very dangerous. This is patented Alex Baye right here. Rush that shit down. Oh. Woo! He went for Tiger D into either an uppercut or a bow. It didn't work. Match point Alex. Alex applying as much pressure as he can to prevent Ryan right, right from getting super here. Alex has already beaten Daigo in CBS this year. Third strike. Oh, 
Almost dizzy. Is out of there. No money for you, buddy. Impressive Alex Valle takes the match. were good enough to actually propel him into a, top, a higher tier. A nice empty jump from Bai there to avoid the low fierce. And now Daigo is just applying pressure with Sonic Boons, trying to keep him away. There! There's some old school hyper fighting tricks. Blocking the fireball. Oh wow, trades with the EX. Trade. Scissor kick. Uh, somersault kick. Mahara here. This is uh, my special message to the internet. Oh, what about that? Hurricane kick. That's good. Right Good trade, good trade, I like that trade. For everybody at home who told me Guile sucks, let's talk after tonight. All right. Guile is a beast in Super Street Fighter 4. A Se beast. Guile is a beast being used by the beast. All right, by now trying to rush down, try to spin kick over the Sonic Boom to hit him in his recovery. But Daigo didn't throw there. So last time by empty jump, this time he actually did the stand around house. Daigo walking forward to make sure he's in trading distance. Uh, Daigo is actually not looking to beat 
the jump attack with that low fierce. He wants to trade because trading, oh, nice, dash forward in the Sonic Hurricane kick. Looks like that move comes out no matter what. Once you start it up, you can't hit Guile and make it not come out in time. So it looks like the Sonic Hurricane kick is, the Sonic Hurricane is gonna be very good for stopping for Fireball Wars. I don't know why I keep calling it the Sonic Hurricane kick, but whatever. All right. Oh, nice EX versus EX. Now nobody has any meter, and Vi still has his Ultra. Well, there it was. I was just about to say, Daigo got his meter. Yes. So Vi was going to have to be careful of throwing up another fireball. All right, let's see if Vi actually All right, switches. Let's do two out of three. Two out of three. So we're doing two let's out of three. Let's run it back. We're running this back. RTSB, run that stuff. Look at that charge time. So sexy. Kyle's Sonic Boom is a much faster for charge oh, time. Oh, been looking there. Oh, my, misses his combo. That's what we call a reset. That was a reset. Seth saying that Vi was going for a reset. Once again, Daigo keeping him out with just a, a barrage of Sonic Boom. Using the focus attack to try to be safe. But Vi knows that Guile's backdash is relatively slow. Caught, it, caught him with the sweep before Guile could finish his backdash. But now Vi's got to be careful. Oh, EX uppercut into Ultra. I don't know if Vi did that on purpose, but I think he can get more damage off of the EX one. But now he's got to watch out for that Sonic Hurricane. Oh! Very nice read by Alex Vi. Nice Hurricane kick from Alex Vi there. Predicted the Sonic Boom went over there and caught him in his delay. That's also some classic hyper fighting stuff right there. Her That's kick not as safe over. as it used to be. Oh, looks like jumping away her. Nice catch. Jumping forward hurricane kick Two doesn't have the safety uppercut. that it used to have, according to oh, Seth. Cancels out of jail. Wow. Both were surprised combo. by that one. Nice trade by Alex. Nice early lead here. And here comes that Kyle pressure. It looks Sonic like uh, Daigo's using that knee to get close in the distance so he can try to catch him with that Sonic Alex hurricane that kick. jump in. Nice read. Good grab. Uh, oh, Vi tried to go for a frame oh, trap there. Him there. Didn't sweep him in time. Good pressure here. Wow, nice read. Alex Vi. He had Still got some of that old stuff. Over the Sonic Bird. And that's Alex Daigo's Vi's first loss. First Daigo asking his translator a question right now. Two out of three here, so this will be the deciding round. See if the old friends can uh, do it again. Yep. As much as you want to think these guys Umahara are rivals, on the right with these Kyle. two are actually really good friends. Alex Vi and Pangryu on, the, on well. the left. They have nothing but the utmost respect for each other. Feeling each other out, charging up. Trying to get him to land on that sonic boom. Woo. That sounded exciting. <laughs> a super sonic boom. All right, this looks like a classic match of old fireball. Sonic boom, Press Hadouken, Adam, sonic boom, Hadouken. Hadouken. Wow, they're playing with I the love mic. it. I'm getting flashbacks to the old glory days of Street Fighter. We have new glory days here with streets with Super Street Fighter 4. Definitely a more offensive based game. Exhibition here from Guile. All right, shutting Daigo down all the with the Sonic Boom in the counters. Keeping out, keeping uh, Vi out. But Vi has got him in the corner gets, here. The match I think control. He from an ultra. Oh. oh, jumping fierce beat the beat the flash. Now he's got him in that corner. Never a good spot. Wow. Oh, nice. Oh, and Guile battles, wins the battle of the footsies. Yep. Good, really great footsies there from Daigo. Waiting for that whip low kick and caught it back in his recovery. Hmm, looks like unlike a uh, classic Street Fighter, if both people started with a fireball at the beginning of the round, Guile could actually back fist the fireball. Wasn't sure if Daigo just didn't try. Nice, nice approach from Daigo. Oh, focus breaker, razor kick. Oh. Oh, nice. Low strong, low strong in the fireball. Vi doing a good job getting in over the Sonic Boom right there. Daigo's not going to want to trade with Low Fierce right now. Oh, no. Uh -oh. We're about to learn something. But he goes over. It's Harrison. still Sonic Boom. And Alex Vi closes out round two. It's going to go the full distance. Hurricane Kick still has a projectile invincibility. And Sonic Hurricane is still a projectile, so he's gonna go through that no matter what. And Final we round. Yeah. Alex Vi versus Daigo Mahara. Ten years later, and it's still hot. 
Street Fighter doesn't go anywhere the older we get. The we can all still very play. Fast. Oh, he got, got over that. that. Now. Oh, nice. The empty jump from Vi didn't work that time. Vial trying to... Nice sweep. Trying to oh, good pressure. throw. Here I was Vi. fooled. Went for the cross-up hurricane kick, but missed. But he switched positions. Now he's got Rue in the oh, corner. Go. I think that's good. All right, he's got the damage. See the power of that Ultra 2. It's not Nobody a lot. Liked it. Not he's a lot. the job done. Alex still in the corner. He's got to find his way out. Battles out of EX meter. He's going to have to do it the old-fashioned way. Oh. Oh. Great match. And let's give it up for Omahara. Thank you for playing. Alex Valle on the right. Daigo in the tattered Ryu. It's going to be a very fireball heavy matchup. Lots of very interesting spacing games. Oh, nice. Uh, that, there yeah, from forward. Oh, nice. Never, never block when you can uppercut. That's the, that's the mentality there. You could block that jump attack. You might as well uppercut instead. Yep. Oh, nice oh, EX fireball. Okay. Get some momentum for Vi. But you can see they're both still right in the middle of the play field. Neither of them can push the other into yeah, the corner and that's, right now. That's so important. Both of them fighting as much as they can for every little inch of space. Oh, huge, no huge, hugely important in this match. Nice attempt from oh, Vi there. Oh, that preemptive. Run. That was sick. I think he tried to catch Daigo jumping backwards or yeah. something. Oh, Ooh. just out of range for that. Just missed that care throw. Oh, Daigo. All right, Alex getting backed up here. Got to watch out now. Oh, that sweep just missed. If Daigo was just any closer, Vi could have oh. counter-swept that. Daigo need to avoid fireballs. Only one more bit of chip damage. But Daigo has no EX. So yeah, look how, I, I oh. how he's just throwing fireballs, relentless fireballs. Now he's got to be careful. Oh. oh. Oh, here we go. Fake the uppercut there. Oh, oh for good throw. tech. Smart tech by Daigo. Vi using, using up his, his meter. Only 12 seconds left. Oh. oh, here we go. Can he do it? He yeah. got it. He got him. Daigo. With what a it. comeback. Pushed Daigo all the way back to the other corner after having been down to just a single di a chip damage death. Smart play from Di uh, from Valle there. Oh, great comeback. And we're back to this middle of the road or middle of the stage battle. Yep. But the last round definitely shows why players need to just stick it out. You can win any round. Yep. Every player has won with a perfect before, so at any point in time, you could get that perfect. Never give up in a round. Ooh. Daigo looking very strong right now. Does Vi have another oh, comeback in him? Here we go. It's the ultra. Drains Daigo down to almost a third of his life. Vi still has some ground to make up right now. He's got to be careful because Daigo is full of oh, meter right good now. Nice on reaction. Sweep. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, good. oh, I like the backdash. Get, trying to get out of the way of that dragon punch. Oh, Vi just daring Daigo to throw an EX. Uh, fireball game. So fun and Ooh, risky. Here, here we, we go. go Can again. he get it? Oh, 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 oh. what? Oh, oh, my God. What a sick round. The end of the round in both those rounds was crazy. Alex Vi with EX the That EX dragon crit. punch. Oh, my God. Alex Vi with the clutch! First game to Alex. Amazing. Ooh. Oh, he read that. He said, I don't think you're going to do that full level three. Ooh, nice backdash there from Umahara. Definitely. Oh, nice stand block. All right, he's got Vi in the corner. Oh, uppercuts him right back into it. Oh, on reaction. Daigo saying, no, I'm not letting you oh, out of man. the corner this Fireballs, time. Fireballs, low roundhouses. Oh, Daigo. so good right Ooh. now. Oh, just barely hits his outstretched hands. So, such impressive play. Daigo waking up with low forward fireball says, you know what? I'm not scared of your media attack. I'm not scared of your throws. I'm just, I don't think you're going to do anything. I'm just going to get up with low forward fireball. Yep, pay it off. Ooh, Once again. Stand short, fake fireball. So good. Oh, Ooh. nice. All right, but that super doesn't do a lot of damage, though. Still even on life. Yep, and Vi used up all of his meter. Daigo with three bars right now, and Daigo just playing. Oh, Alex with three Alex bars. Alex with three Sorry. meters. Sorry, Daigo was the one that landed the super. My bad. 
Oh, Ooh. he gets in. Focus through. Pushing Daigo back. Big battle for positional control here. Nice end. Oh, jump. nice focus there. Oh, I wonder if he could have landed a crumple there. Oh, just out oh. of range. All right, bavai has got all of his meter right now. Ooh. Oh, Ultra, he gets it. What sick reactions. Oh, 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 oh my god! Again, another comeback from Alex Valle. In his air, all three rounds, the comeback has come from the low forward fireball. Exactly, yeah. Oh my gosh. Alex Valle at match point Putting against Saigo. Saigo really taking it to him right now. Yeah, Very Daigo. nice spacing. You see that just out of range of that low roundhouse. Oh, well, there's that low forward again. Great spot on screen. Oh no! Ooh. Oh, big damage. Can he do it again? He's already proven that he can make big comebacks. Oh, here we go! Oh, and here we go! Speaking of! Achievement unlocked. Ah! Uh, right. Ultra! Oh, going almost oh. to the level 3. Smart EX Fireball there. Reset the momentum for Daigo. Walking right up to Vi now. Oh no! This is match point for Alex. He just needs the land. Come on. Oh, oh he just landed on it. Oh, nice. Not quick stand. Oh! oh. Daigo Umahara catching the back dash with a fireball. Yeah, smart. Alex, I think, looking for Dragon Punch and hence uh, doing back dash. And once again, you see the relief on Daigo's face. No, there's oh, no yeah. emotion there at all. <laughs> yeah. No emotion from Daigo. Great job from Alex, though. What a sick battle these two guys are in. Oh, nice try from Vi there. Oh, oh wow. big damage time. Not sure what Daigo was going for there. Wasn't a punish situation. All nice right, Alex hitting his combos. Oh, smart from Daigo, uh, from Daigo, Daigo. there. Oh, oh, big damage punishment gets in. Oh, nice throw from Daigo there once again. Not believing oh, wow. in his wake up, and now he says, "Here's my FADC Ultra." Yeah, that is a big price to pay for that wake up dragon punch. Oh, nice tech there. Tense yeah, very right tense one right now. The momentum is square. Oh. oh, nice block from Alex Vi there. Oh, if he landed oh, that. Oh, nice blocking by Daigo. Daigo being very patient, very smart right now. Neither player wanting to jump. All about the ground oh. control right now. Oh, oh. there we go. Vi's in there. He's getting Daigo in the corner. Ooh. Oh. Couple of whiff low. Oh. Yeah, come on, pussies. This is why I call it. That's why they call it pussies right there. Oh, oh, is it double? Is it double? Daigo takes it. Daigo takes the round. Oh, he flips Daigo out. Takes he the flips round. out. Oh my god. No, no double KO. Oh my god. And Alex had less life. Daigo taking that round by the by by slimmest by, by literally an invisible mark. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh, nice uppercut there from Vi, stopping the cross up. Daigo now in the corner. Oh, smart. Oh, baiting man. the jump Alex in from Vi. Now, yep. So confident in his fireball game. Trying to take up as much of the screen as possible. Oh, nice. From Vi getting that little bit of damage. Every little bit will matter, as we saw from the last round. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh nice. okay. Oh, Vi going in there for the, with that towards Fierce. Oh, man. Oh, great sweep from Daigo. And very nice high block. Oh Ooh, boy. Just walking right up to <laughs> each other. Playing very dangerous <laughs> games right now. Just walking right up to each other, just basically saying hello. Very dangerous. Oh. 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 oh! oh! He's still alive. Yeah, Vi still is still be alive. alive, definitely. We've seen Di we've seen Vi with the crazy comebacks already. What what could what does Vi have left in the tank right now? Gotta make a comeback here. Tournament point for Daigo. I mean, sorry, match point. <laughs> Not a tournament yet. Oh! oh, wow. just, oh, oh man! No, too far! Looking for the ultra. Yeah, just out of range for that to work. That would have been hot. Daigo Umahara just eating up clock right now. Yep, only nine seconds left. Gotta do something quickly. Oh! Him. Oh! oh man. Daigo! Right for the hit. What a great match! Alright, we're tied at 0 0 once again. This is the last set. 
HG remix there. Saigo again with the overhead. <laughs> I think he likes it. So back He's Pierce like, caught him. I, I get this move now. I can do this. There's nice. the crouching Pierce counter. Saigo now just feeling it right now. Just, just all over completely him. completely flawless. Guile play here. And that is a big precedent here to set in this uh, first round of the opening second set. Saying, I have got this match down now. So Alex is going to really need to create. Ooh. I like these plays. He's taking gutsy plays, but not happening yet. Getting close there. Oh, nice. Oh. Didn't manage to combo the meaty low forward and the low strong. It is linkable on a meaty low forward. We've seen that a lot. Ooh. Successful meaties that aren't combos. Nice fireball in there. Knocks Guile to the floor. There it is. Go. That's the low forward we were trying to get before. Alex swept him right out of there. Good pressure in the corner here. Guile not happy in that oh. corner. Here comes the super. And that's going to close it out. Alex Valle, round two. All right, Valle trying to run this right back. The this crowd is game feeling one. a little bit. This is game one of the second set. Both characters in loser's bracket. Daigo managed to reset it just a little earlier. Oh, nice. Crouching strong counter. Once again, not sure if Daigo meant to do that kick. But I don't know. He's looked like he'd been falling in love with it earlier, so... He's had enough time to figure that out by this point. But sometimes muscle memory is Kar's teacher. It's very difficult to combo after that hopping, the hop kick. To try and combo someone landing from the hop kick is extremely difficult. Alex wasn't able to complete it there. Oh! There it is! There's the corner again. The Actually super so effective here. Actually managed to land it. And Alex Bai just On two, the verge. A pixel. Oh! oh! That was some old school tick Umahara. Woo! And the reason that was so great, he hasn't gone to that at all, at all. I was this not entire time. That and I that's the most obvious thing to do in the world there, but we, <laughs> we haven't seen it the whole time. He put it, Daigo effectively put it out of everyone's mind. And unfortunately, <laughs> including Alex is there and catches a throw. If you, if you asked me to guess what he was going to do in that situation, that was the last thing I would have ever guessed. If you asked me if Crummy Guy would do, but Alex yeah. catches him there in a sonic boom, combos Dizzy, closes it out, commanding round one for Alex Valle. Oh, nice. Again, opening gambit there from Ryu. Blocks the cross up low. Poke, poke. Reset the series. Back into open water here for both of these competitors. Ryu with so much more freedom here to control the match. Oh, nice. Sobots there. Daigo trying to counter that low forward with the sweep. Didn't quite get it. Again, nice read there from Alex. That Alex. wasn't working out for him in the first set, but now he's all over it. Oh, Alex. nice walk on her throw. Nice. Challenge that. Get hungry. I like this. Alex is moving like Alex Vaya here in this round. Let's see if he can close it out. Get a good advantage. But you see a lot more aggression here from Daigo as well. Oh, now Daigo with the oh, advantage. Oh, landing the overhead. Oh, oh got him that time. Air commander so long. It's <laughs> such range on that thing. It's You're never safe if Guile's in the air from that range. And oftentimes you'll land on a fireball, but all he needed there was to close it out. By predicting a lot of opening sonic booms from Daigo Umahara. That is the right play for Guile. You want to open with that sonic boom, you can take the chance. And that's the thing. There's, you've got to make your guess. Read your opponent. All right, Bai got him in the corner now. Trying to catch him, keep him in there with all those fireballs. Daigo managed to sneak out with one jump forward. But Daigo's got him right back in right now. Nice! Alex, very nice. Effectively representing with so many fireballs in a row. Ooh, great use of fake fireball there. Overhead. Ooh. Oh, oh, I don't like that play from Alex. Very a little big aggressive. Risk. Oh, he's giving away his positional advantage now. Let's see if he can turn this around. He's going to need this game. Alex has to look deep inside here. By so worried no! the jump. Oh, it's fake fireball. Try to follow it on quickly, and that's two games. Umahara. Ooh. And that's a very so, tough spot. So clutch from Daigo. You saw Vi was like waiting for the jump twice and then finally faked the fireball through the reel and Daigo said, you know what, now feels the right time for a fireball. Great reads, great reads. And that's it's part of a whole story that they've been representing their moves here throughout the entire game. It's not any individual move with a guess. It's the pattern of the player you've been playing yep. the entire time. Vi with a little old school. Ooh, nice trade there from Daigo. He's in the lead, so you, you'll take those trades all day long. Oh, no. I think Bai went either for a super there or just a regular fireball. Ended up with an uppercut. Knocked him down by the sonic boom. Puts him in a bad position. 
it's just a life advantage, and Daigo looks quite happy to try and grind this one out. Yep, super full of use. Not going to work from that far. You're, yeah, that's exactly totally ineffective. Oh, nice, nice. Creates an opportunity crossover. Oh, no opportunity there. He tried to fake Time's the throw. Time's running out. But I tried to fake the throw there and go for the low forward the red fireball. The pause wasn't long enough. That's exactly what it is. It's the cross up, uh, way to beat, yes. and then low forward fireball. But Vi got a little twitchy on that, a little impatient, threw low up forward. the low forward a little too fast. Might have been a true block string, not forcing Dago to guess. All right, this is is this match point for Daigo? It is indeed. And this is awesome. tournament point for Daigo. Oh! By, still not out of it yet. Still has that super. Oh, oh, once again, tried to fake. Didn't quite bait Daigo into anything. Oh, oh, and that's going to be it. Sweep. And Daigo Umahara takes it. Daigo Umahara is your HD HDR. Remix champion. Round of applause for Alex Vai. And round of applause for Daigo the Beast Umehara. The crowd is on their you feet, can hear the hype. cheering for the history. Before it's even started, they're on their feet, all cheering and applauding. And a great handshake there from the two competitors. Uh, uh, there's so much history here. I cannot believe this is going to be happening again. And, you know, Daigo paying Alex the highest compliment. Alex, obviously, nothing but respect for oh, Daigo yeah. Umahara. Oh, yeah. uh, the most dominant player in the world for years now. Alex holding it down with Ryu. Daigo turning to the dark side with Yoon. He, he has, and I, but I've seen Alex play this match um, against Yoon's, not not Daigo Yoon's, but I have seen him play against Yoon's, and he actually does pretty well. He makes the use of a lot of interesting Ryu normals to keep uh, Daigo out. I'm sorry, to keep Yoon out. Keep him off the ground. Daigo in there. And again, there nice. There's one of them. He's using the stance short. He used the stance strong. And I always like to evaluate how characters with double cuts are going to react to that shoulder check pressure from Yoon. Because you have several options. You could try and reversal it right away, or you could just sit there and let him do it, and then he'll often do it again to try and test you out. Right. He wants to read that reaction and see what kind of game are you going to play. Obviously, he knows Alex very well, but he doesn't necessarily know how he's going to be playing this match. Right. What his approach will be. Daigo drops it. All Great draw. punish from Alex. Crowd goes wild just for that. That's how much people care about this. There it is again. He just gets out of there. And there's that shoulder Ooh, pressure again. Got to watch out for Ganagin now. He's going to hit confirm a low medium shoulder into Ganagin. Oh, not anymore. Turns the meter. Push him into the corner. And again, that shoulder check pressure. Saying, Alex, you got to answer this. Nice sweep. Oh, a little bit of a miss. Yoon, so short. Oh, wow. Got the uppercut. There's that crazy. So hard to predict. A good read on the back dash, but just a little too slow with that EX fireball. Oh, oh that was amazing. Uses Alex the huge was playing range. so good, and that range was just looked incredible. He grabbed it from nowhere. Uh, yeah, I think I think Alex thought he was oh. safe, but no, he was definitely within that young command grab range. Oh wow! Wow, wow. Got focus to start off the wall and then in the back. Gets the the optimized combo there, and I expect nothing less from him. And just out. a lot of respect, but not in the game. He just goes right in for that throw. Says, "I got you going here. Up kicks all day." Right back into the corner here for Alex. He does have a lot of meter. Oh, nice reactions. Daigo is all over him. For great Again, reads. Again, I, I don't like Alex going back to that. Don't try and jump out of those throws. There he takes it on the ground like a man, but gets up kicked again on his attempt to get out of the corner and is now getting pushed back. Oh, no. Nope. No follow on Didn't there. I think he could have landed it. He might have gotten to the wrong side. Alex, yeah. okay. Those fireballs. I like the fireball he, in your he face. He come back. This is not over, folks. He's got the meter. He's got wow, the you ultra, read it. And there's Alex. Oh, no. Oh. No meter. Wow, but no punish. Alex. Daigo lets him off the hook. Him. Such tension here. And Alex right back in it. Just let's like off this. The hook. Advantage. Alex, he's got him in the corner. Doesn't have the meter to punish that. Oh. Kicks. Talk about who owes the psychic uppercut. Oh, Is it the Ume Shoryu or Alex Vai's psychic uppercut? That round, Daigo yeah, if, if with the psychic up kicks. What a gutsy read. What an incredibly gutsy read. Um, yeah, if, if you think that Alex Vaya has random dragon punch, think about the word Ume Shoryu and what that means. This, this player is so well known for doing that kind of stuff that they've literally named random uh, psychic dragon punch after him. Dagger content to sit back there, getting pushed now into the corner. Wow, again. Knew it was going to oh, work. Oh, he had a chance for a bigger completion there. But Daigo, or excuse me, Alex playing very respectfully, a little too respectfully. Good challenge. you got to challenge that from Daigo, or he will abuse you all day. Yes. Also, oh. no, no, no. Again, he will possibly put on the wrong side. Turns the meter there. Still in good position. Oh, watch and select. Jumps out of there this time. Alex still in there. Again, still got a strong chance. Oh, the focus a little bit too early on it.
And Daigo trying to maintain that perfect position to punish whatever Alex can do here. Yeah, Alex has got to worry about throwing fireballs from that range for EX shoulder. Oh! Alex Valle says, I know a thing or two about being psychic. There's his own image for you. The crowd on their feet again, cheering for the hometown hero, Alex Valle. Wow, people are high. his composure. Daigo, of course, listening to nothing. He's got the sound blocking headphones. Alex perhaps feeding out the energy of the crowd. Let's hope it doesn't get in his head. Nice read with the Big crumple. crumple. No, he messed no it up. Punish. But he gets it back in the corner. Anyway, he corners himself. With Again, crowd. he's got him down. Both players and there's are the stun. Goosey. Can he close it out? Dragon punch. That there it is. Game two, Alex. Alex Faye. Game two, Alex. He ties and it up. Everybody's out there screaming and chanting. Fists are pumping. Alex Valle. Wow, we got a nice USA chant going on already. It's not over, folks. It's and not over. You can see the tension from both of those players making a series of mistakes, but managing to capitalize. Alex coming out on top of the exchange with an incredible finish, and now he's in Daigo's head with fireballs in the face. Right. And representing that standing short we saw earlier to knock him out of the air. That's right. Nice challenge, and again, mixing it up with those different anti-air options. And, and if you notice, he's really made Daigo not go to the, to uh, dive kick as an approach all that often. And oh, exactly, wow. There you go. Yeah, Alex is Alex has really kind of neutralized that that far away dive kick to get in kind of game. He oh, hasn't nice. been able to answer that shoulder check pressure, but Daigo not willing to follow it up. Gutsy Sick read Marie. by Daigo. Yeah. That is. Oh wow! That time by paying off with the jump that wasn't working for him in earlier rounds. Ultra, he's and got that's it. That's gonna be it. So it's gonna be match point right now for Daigo. Gets the follow up. Gets presumably. the follow up. No, oh, he missed it. the follow up. He had uppercut, and now Valle burning the meter wow, just to I get him off him and try and reset the situation. This is just showing the oh my God. just such an amazing match. Both no, oh no, oh, no. Oh, oh, my God. <sighs> so it's just down to the wire. Next thing hits wins. Look at this incredible respect from these players. Oh, oh I thought that was the no, oh, no, no, no. Down to the last pixel. Oh, oh I thought it was an God. uppercut from Alex, and it came out. People as a at home can't see, but you and I both have our hands in our, hand. our head. I'm about to stand up. Can we stand up? Is I'm that okay? To, I might need to. I don't want to knock over yeah, the table. I'm not sure if I'll be able to resist. Match point, Daigo Umahara. But Alex off to an early lead here. Okay, here comes Daigo. He's getting in. And oh, again, Alex going to that. I don't want to see him do that. He got away with one last time. Uh-oh. Trouble. Yeah, okay, he's got to watch out right now. This is not a good look for him. He keeps trying to escape. I don't want to see him jump again. He stays on the ground that time. And again. Okay, oh, gets got out, out of okay. there. He got away with one. Daigo needs to reset the, excuse me, Alex needs to oh, reset the situation, and, this, and that could be, could be it. it. We'll see if he gets the full thing here. If he here. closes it out, that is going to be it, and it's looking very bad. We'll see, we'll see, we'll Alex see. Valle. Not He's quite. still in there. Never say Daigo. There it is, is. there it is. Daigo takes the 2-1. to one. Daigo, after a just electrifying oh, match, that incredible reads. Round, I'm going to clap. Round of that game. I know it's not cool to clap into the mics, but I got to clap for that. That was just unbelievable. It, it just brings back the elements of what we liked about Street Fighter in the first place. <laughs> Score right now is 3-2. to two. I love how we're playing on uh, different stages here. It's such a nice mix from the da damn training uh. stage, which is driven me crazy. I like this stage, actually. It's very dynamic, especially in the second round. Everything explodes and goes everywhere. Yes. Nice cross up Tatsu. That one was hard Ooh. to see. That heavy punch uh -huh. catches the back dash. Nice safe jump, avoids it with the low medium kick to shrink his hurt box. Alright, nice tick throw, looking very super turbo here. That was a great block. He knew that was coming. And now Vi is at advantage. Yep. Tucking. Oh! What just like that? The commentator's curse. Watch what you say. <laughs> Wow, that solar plexus really turned the tide of that round completely, and uh, Daigo really stole that one away with the help of the spooky... Again, the curse, yeah. the curse of the commentator. Oh my goodness, those oh, okay. are too Very strong. close to stars here. That should be it. Stun, and there's going to be no scaling on this. Not going to be able to kill. Oh, I lied! And there is the P. P.U. The ammonia from the urine just splattering everywhere. <laughs> He's actually pea colored. Yeah, that nitrogen. He's got the pea headband and everything. Hadouken! 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 The pea headband. <laughs> that morning first, when you want to check for the pregnancy, you need that oh, no, rich no, urine. No, 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 Z, let's not go there, my friend. Marco, come get us. We'll get in trouble. 
<laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, oh, oh, jab Shoryuken for some reason from Vae. Didn't know what he was reading. Gets punished there. Was he and Vae's in the white? Oh, that's gonna get a good, nice that jump in there. The Could have gone for a better punish. But that was a great fake. With yes, short. nice ambiguous with the knee, jumping short. Mm. All right. Daigo is in control. Ooh, right again, now. this is how he did the uh, second comeback. He did a solar plexus. So you really want to avoid getting hit by that. Oh, very nice. Ooh. That was sick. He that traded off fireballs and then used the FABC to punish him. Exactly. Recovery. Very Pungo like. But that really goes back to previous games when uh, Daigo got that comeback off that one solar plexus. So it forces Vi in that previous round to burn his meter, make sure that he's dead. Really forcing his opponent to spend all his valuable resources here in the mirror match. Scoop. Free throw here. Oh, oh no. Nice plexus. He's got him locked in the corner. Nice frame traps. Wow, okay. just burnt all his resources there. And look at this defense by Daigo, even though he's down. Pretty good here. Going into... Oh, again! again. Alright, Daigo really needs to mount some sort of offense here. There is an onslaught. This should be it for chip damage. Yeah, with that EX. Daigo couldn't have really done anything except for a delayed EX of his own, but didn't want to burn that meter and save it for a comeback. And now he dies with two meters. The crowd is on by his side, as you can hear. I smell some blood here. This could be a 3-0 and for the uh, Americans against the Japanese invaders. No, uh, Yipes defeated Tokido. Right. And also Reinhardt. Oh, defeated. Ah, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I was thinking the other way. <laughs> so used to the Japanese, man. Strong players. Yes. Oh, I think they are not used to this. Perhaps thinking lowering their guard against uh, their th Oh yeah, it's gonna be an exhibition match at PAX East. It's gonna be a walk in the park. No sir, these, these people are, have come here and prepared. They're hungry. Nice jump in here. Pushes Daigo all the way to the corner. Oh, jump back. The cowardly jumping strong. Very nice. Another reverse jump in. Goes for the full punish. Missed his link. Good break. Oh no. Oh, there's a heavy punch Shoryuken that you were asking for. Yep. Daigo really mixing up his uh, Hudouken pattern. Sometimes he'll cancel the low medium kick, sometimes he won't. Nice He's hit. also really good at uh, EX Fireball FADC Ultra in close. What is oh, this is good for punish! Ultra. Huge mistake. Not sure what he was reading there. Let's see if this is gonna he's gonna regret this. Oh my goodness. Nice Shokunetsu. Oh, uppercut. This is the stuff we came here to see. Classic matchup between two OGs of the scene. And these players have both been at the uh, free flowing bar. So they're playing nice and free here. Oh, wow. Wow, look, again, again, that uppercut yep. that homes in from the back. Again, <laughs> can't cross it up. It looks like the hitbox is like 360 Ooh, degrees. Ultra. Gonna That's pop up up in the air. And doing enough to take the life lead, barely. Good Forces his opponent to burst a meter. Nice. That's gonna get punished, very beautiful. So difficult to get that punish. You really have to 1-3-1 one, one that input yep. and get the homing and wait for that Ume Ooh. helicopter to pass over. Got Super, that should be dead. My goodness. Vi gives a thumbs up. Well, literally take the risk of walking into you and taking the hit. And he'll file that one away into his Rolodex to come back and use the same setup against you three rounds later and then throw in a Dragon Punch three frames earlier to kill you on it. And you're left there thinking, what am I playing? Is this guy human? So you, you, up against Daigo, he's got a bag of tricks. You can really hear the crowd get into this one. One of my all-time favorite Street Fighter 4 matches is Daigo against Alex Valle from SoCal Regionals a few years back. They played just the hashtag finger... <laughs> it was Kisses fingertips it was, it was of all footsie matches. Two. It was amazing. And I'm, I'm so excited to see this. You're going to see some of the greatest footsies that you'll ever see in this match coming up. How many guys...
How many games have these guys battled it out in, man? Alpha 3, Super Turbo, uh, Hyper Street Fighter, Third Strike. Third Strike, yeah, absolutely. It's, it's gone back, like I said, over 15 years. It's going to be a very interesting match. Fireball is trying to take control of the screen. They're crouching in and trying to take control of the screen. They're of feeling each other out. When, when Zygo hits Alex with crouching in and big fireball, that's going to hurt. Not so much for Alex. So that's that's the advantage of playing Evil Ryu in this matchup. And you can see Alex has gotten pushed back into the corner. He does not want to get touched by any crouching medium kicks. That's what I'm talking about. Into the corner now. Evil is certainly the offensive powerhouse, David. You sell your soul and you get power in return for it. Valle, he's got a character that's going to have more vitality. He's going to be able to take a hit. He's a little bit just more solid, if you will. Dago's playing a little bit more of a glass cannon, but he's going to make these hits count. Oh, he went for the DP, but nice on Alex Valle. He debated that one out and went over it with the Tatsu. It feels like the neutral game is pretty even, but the damage differential is, is apparent. Yeah, and at any time, Daigo will explode! Ryu just doesn't have the explosive power as his evil counterpart. And so even the meter game, it's close, but that meter means so much more to evil Ryu. It's all about trying to walk into the other player's range and walk back right outside of it and punish when they try to press the button. That is what is happening right yeah. now. Right into the EX! How, how many low forwards have we seen? In this round, in this game one. That's the match. Is that it? No. Do it. The last time these two played, back in March of 2013, they had an exhibition, if you recall. Daigo mm. won it 5-3. to three. Daigo, man, one of the best. Absolute, pure, the best Street Fighter players we have with an, an 80% win percentage across major tournaments in top eight. Oh, a little bit of a risk by Alex. Didn't pay off. Not too much of a punish, though. And uh, at this point, he's been getting chased a lot. He's been getting moved back into the corner. And you can see he's he's worried about playing as offensively as he might want to because he knows what the damage output of Evil is. Here comes Alex, though. You see that stand medium kick? It has a good hitbox on it. It moves Evil Ryu forward into the opponent's range. From the front, oh, but nothing out of the combo. I go still in control though, and this is this is Evil Ryu, man, the the Vortex character. But we're not seeing that Daigo has finally been able to bring his style over to Evil Ryu and play in a much more controlled game. And at any moment, he might bounce. You know, I have to say, I really like Daigo playing Evil Ryu. It feels like he can play the footsie game, the ground game he wants to play, but it counts. Two versions There's a lot ago, of damage. Two versions ago, if I'm not mistaken, maybe three. Daigo flirted with switching to Akuma. And I thought that would have been great for him. He would have buffed his inherent Shoto power. I think we're seeing that here with this Evil Ryu as he takes to Alex Valle, juggling the corner. Dangerous times for our American Shoto, Mr. Street Fighter himself. And you see what Ryu gets, just not quite the same. This is why a lot of Ryu mains have switched to Evil Ryu. Oh, it's not just Ryu main space. It's oh, a you're lot right. of just players. You are right about that. And that is that Daigo Umehara in Evil Ryu versus regular Ryu. 2-0 over Alex Valle. That was four straight rounds. That was four straight rounds, and that was loser's bracket, folks. So, Mr. Street Fighter, level up Alex Valle. He's going to be going home early this year. It's a good way to put it. Yeah. Uh, oh, he's going with the big uh, man. All right. Okay. <laughs> nice, nice. Good stuff, good stuff. I like this. to see how like this works this. out. I like this. I play this match a bunch. Uh, I think Evil has a, a slight advantage, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. No I, I really think that, Evil, that uh, Hugo can handle it. People underrate Hugo so they much do, in this game. Do. He's really not even remotely as bad as people joke about him. No, right? yeah, he's not some bad It's guy. almost like by reputation he's supposed to be bad. And so, you know, but I fully expected he would be awful, but right, he's, uh, he's not awful. He's not great, but he's not awful. He's somewhere in between. I mean, at this point in time, I think... Oh, Alex, this corner control. Alex Vi is like, oh, did you get him? Yeah, I did. But did he miss the first hit? It did, so it was no animation. But I do believe that Vi is... Oh, you can see it. 
the number four Hugo on Xbox Live now? Yeah, he has put in a lot of work. Oh! oh hand to the face! Slap! And Vias Hugo is a real funky one. It's a, it's very unlike most other Hugos. He doesn't go for the same meaty mix-ups. Uh, he, he walks around a little bit differently. He goes for different combos, like into standing resets rather than into knockdowns. Oh. You know, oh, exactly like yeah, this. That kind yeah, yeah. of thing. A little bit different than a lot of people. Okay, there's a classic one. Right oh. back in. Gets the normal throw, yeah. Daigo's still caught there. This is Hugo's wheelhouse right here. Oh, that could have been so much. Yeah. Oh, that armor on that beard. Look at that like footsie, Lil. short. Daigo taking the first game. Look uh, at that I'm little sorry, bye. You see that wry smile over there on yeah. the right? He's like, that's cute. What's that about? That's cute. No, I, feel, I feel like that's what he's saying. Like, what? <laughs> What's going on? Oh, nice. FAD focus and dash through in the SVD. Yeah, it gets away. That's pretty solid. Hugo can option select uh, running bear grab, but it's, you know, eh. It's a thing. Oh, nice oh, one. Oh, yeah. He, maybe he was scared of the anti-air fierce armor, trying to use the two hits. Right. Oh, nice. Oh, I'm surprised no EX DP, though. Yeah. No EX anti-air grab. Oh, didn't get both hits. Oh, wow, FADC that. He uses all of his meter. Yeah, I can't take any more chip. Tough to see how he's going to make it through. Yeah. Oh, he had an easy board and got smacked in the face. If he had less life, I actually would have won that round. <laughs> Ooh, walked Perfect. right into that. Yep. You see him backdash just in case Daigo uppercuts, but Daigo knows that trick too. It's one of those things when you fight against the Hugo, you got to know they're going to try to do that. With Ooh, I don't understand the fierce from Daigo. If you're in this range right now, you have to be very worried about Hugo Stamp Fierce. And you can do a bunch of stuff about it. It's Focus Bait, for example. But we haven't seen that. Ooh. Oh, got wow, him in got time. Him. Is he going to get the strong afterward for the win? No, he doesn't, doesn't go for it. it. Oh, just wake up. Just a meaty SPD catches him right on wake up by match point here against Daigo. This dude. Look at that serious look on his face. By like I, I need to win this after that beating in Super Turbo. Right, yeah. Again, no EX anti-air grab. Yeah. But to be fair, Vi literally just walked in and walked in like, go play Daigo <laughs> in Super Turbo. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he <laughs> yeah. did. He had and just Vi was here. like, what? <laughs> oh, he got the counter hit on that, so he got the full five hit combo. And then very light media pressure, as has been the case. Yeah, again, no anti- and this is a Ryu player, too. Vi, come on. We know you have anti-airs. Yeah, that's kind of the case for him a lot of the times, so though. I see him play, and the, there are fewer anti-airs than most Hugos, I would say. Like uh -huh. I said, I think he plays very differently than most Hugos. Oh, he got the counter hit. Oh, oh good read, reset. but I love it by Daigo to get out of there on reaction. Oh, not on reaction this time! Clamp. Strong? Strong. No, Oh, he missed tried it. it, missed it. Oh, oh nice. here we go! Big damage on this, not gonna kill. Alex kind of reeled back in his chair when that hit happened. So he's... Chip damage away, and Hugo actually has really good chip. If you're in a certain range and the opponent's looking at footsies. Oh! Just a jab! Just a jab, a poke to the nose! Look at that very satisfied expression. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he really wanted to give that full fist bump. He gave that half fist bump. Yeah, no, there it was. There. On the left, and of course, Daigo going to his guile in yeah. this latest build of the game. Yeah, I mean, this is a, a newer pickup for Daigo, right? He's been playing other characters, but uh, I'll tell you this. You know, a lot of people think this matchup is kind of tough for uh, Guile. Man, Daigo is super good at this matchup. He's been playing against a lot of the Japanese players online. And when he first switched to Daigo, he was beating John Takuchi with Guile. He was beating Moke, the Rashid player online in Japan, who is very, very strong, and he has just been prepared. So this matchup in particular, Daigo is super good at. And you'll see a lot of the little things in neutral, which we'll get to once we get there. But the pressure now for for uh, Vi is so great. This is where he really gets the uh, the damage that he needs, right? This corner pressure, the RTS, and the D. And it's been a tough time for Daigo so far. Buys himself space with the booms. And he's out of the corner now. Flash kick Ooh, and and there you go. That's some familiarity with that matchup. Finding a little hole 
in that sequence for him to Ume flash kick. Oh, the punish. Yeah. Wow, got him on that second revolution of the sweep to punish the eagle spike. The, yeah, and there's the punish there, a second to go from Daigo. Oh, got him. It's gonna be big damage. Has the life lead, does Alex. Throws out all the booms. Second V-trigger since that is a too far V-trigger for Guile for now. Look at the space he oh, gained. Clipped on the him screen. right on the end, wasn't able to jump through. Oh, that. the eagle spike from Vi. I wonder if that was a V-reversal attempt and he just got a miss input. But, man, Tiger with the big back fears. Defending freedom here as he tries to remind the US what he's got. You know, I mean, this is a really good match uh, in the neutral so far for Vaya. He's doing a good job of dealing with Daigo. But Daigo usually very good about intercepting Rashid. He throws those booms. If he does roll through them, he immediately will punish with that down medium punch and a flash kick. Walk up block and the what challenge. What are these booms? Somersaults. Rolls out of the corner. You see the chase down behind the boom, and that's what he does better than almost anybody in this matchup. Yeah, if you roll, wow. Daigo will punish you. He's not going to let you free roll through those booms with the B skill from Rashid. Overhead, no, goes in, tries to throw bait him behind it, and Daigo's defense, so impressive. Pressure now for Vi, trying to turn it up here. Has gained himself the lead, and that Fierce has worked again. Cancel. Safe on the EX spike. Oh, the walk up, and Daigo still has trigger available. Oh Ooh. my, the throw bait with the V-Skill dive kick. One of the stronger tools that Rashid has. It looks like a cross-up jump or something like that, but it's actually just him V-Skilling forward. The rolling and the intercept. Anti-air, freedom. Oh, I didn't know you lose the uh, prop if you get a successful throw. Yeah, the throw or throw tech will do it, right? So you don't even have to get hit. The jump over the boom. Oh, no punish on the way down. A little forward medium kick check from Guile. It's one of his better folks in the mid range. And you see him completely dissipate that tornado. That EX boom and regular boom. Breathe. What? That air throw was like an air travel ban for Rashid. You cannot be flying in my air zone. Incredible reactions. That forward throw. And now trying to bait that flash kick. Daigo doesn't go for it. And uh, man, it's oh, tough. clean jump in. Yeah, the global entry for Alex Vaya there makes it all the way. The throw. This is such a dangerous position for Daigo. No meter to flash kick out. So close to the stun. Oh, and then a jab, wake up, boom into trigger. Very nice from Daigo. Vaya had sort of hesitated on that Oki, gave Daigo a little sliver of space, and he was able to fit that jab in into the boom. A very strong mechanic for Guile. That's probably going to change here in this newest beta that's going on live right now. It's going to change from a two one. to three gauge. V-trigger, yeah. Trigger. Pump that V-trigger up. Right now, it is a two-bar V-trigger, which you can see in the bottom right. So filling up that V-gauge, pretty easy for Guile. Another interruption from Ume Guile. Oh, what a bait. Love the bait. That was so good. Got Daigo thinking that there was going to be the full jump. I with that it. perfect geometry, knowing that the somersault kick would not hit from that angle and ended his jump arc prematurely with that cancel. Very nice. Who says you don't use math later on in life? Here, Alex Vi using it late 50s. And he's still using that geometry, as you mentioned. Oh, try to mm -hmm. dive kick again, trying to fake him out. Oh, yeah, he's oh. going to take that trade. It's uh, definitely in right favor through. These are Daigo. not true cancels. Yeah, there's not, not a true block string, so, you know, Daigo can use that flash kick. It has projectile invincibility. Ooh, and a predictive sweep. Couldn't even cancel in anything. That's how confident he was, but still loses the round to that juggle. Yeah, Vi really about forcing here. He's trying to make this offense happen. He's trying to make Daigo play fast, and the faster Daigo plays, the less of this fortress defensive style he can keep up, right? See the constant movement from uh, Alex Vi, and he's okay with these flash kicks because it's getting Daigo off a lot of these resources. Mm -hmm. The roll through, no interrupt. All right, got nothing. He was expecting perhaps a kick, allowed him to come in. Yeah, Daigo see. just losing his charge. Very interesting. He's walking forward. Every time he does that, he does not have a boom available for him to throw. Yeah, you see, really a lot of pressure from Alex by the EX mixer gets rid of them and fake out. He was really looking to bait that. And look at the movement from Alex by. Still no anti preemptive anti air. Oh, Ooh, what just tornado. collided into the boom? Yeah, after that heavy kick wind shot, you can actually uh, jump. Man, good, good block. defense from Daigo, blocking both sides. Good defense there. The wake up buttons does not activate into the D trigger just yet, but there's the pressure for Alex Vi. There it cool. is. Here comes the loop. Does he have? No, he does not have any of those season two loops. Yeah, that is kind of the trademark of Daigo Guile. It's not the combos, but it's the zoning and spacing, which is 
you know, worked out well. What? He reacted to the dash. Oh, he got him with the upside down kick. Alex by caught slipping at that last moment. You got to keep that defense tight. And it didn't work out. Daigo Umahara on match point here. You know, with that big crouching fierce, that button for Rashid, so important at that range. You know, not much you can do. If you throw a boom, yeah, just Ooh, like that, you you'll go. get clipped. Hit him on the tip of the extended Ooh. hands from the boom. Extended his hands for that throw tech twice in a row, and that's a bad, bad spot to be as Daigo activates to try to relieve some of this pressure. Get rid of that stun gauge. Buy himself some screen space with all these booms. Ooh, over under the old ISDD trick. Lands him a throw. And Alex Vi with the lead here. He's got a lot of resources, but it's like Daigo. These one hit confirms in the CA are so risky. There it is. It's going to be a nice chunk. He's going to shave off with that critical art. Get some chip. The jump. Oh, almost caught him in the air. Oh, the sweep and a punish. Did he catch Wake him? Wake up. Oh, what? but he piloted out of there. He escaped. And the flash kick. Uh oh. Daigo's got screen space to work with, but Alex Vi just needs one important Ooh. jump. The in and out, the Ume dance. Oh, and the, and the medal as well. Yes, oh, of wow. course. Of course, the medal. That's what we're showing. Shout out Cool Whip telling me that Punk and Takeda are very likely to play first match in top 32 losers. Oh, wow. Wow. Brutal. Yeah. That was a grand final just two years ago. Vega patch, go. the Spanish representative couldn't repeat what we saw from his so you know what we're going to get? He's we're going to get some V Trigger One Kage. Is that what he's going for? We're definitely going to get some V. Listen, he no, rides no, no. out on V Trigger man. One Kage, bro. Shut up, man. I don't believe you, fam. I don't believe he's you, going all the way to the left. Look, there we go. He's going he's to be V Trigger Two. We're going to get battle outfit. V Trigger Two, fam. Oh, it's V Trigger One, bro. He's going to use the V skill. He loves it. And the teleport. Always uses V Trigger One, man. He's mad. He loves it, mate. Mate, this matchup is long. Look, man, he's done some amazing things. We saw his highlights of him taking out that um, Bonchan a few years ago. We've seen him take out Daigo as well. I mean, this is an ask, though. But what, you, you don't remember Daigo losing to John Choi at Evo? Yeah, John Choi. Years gassed. before. Gassed. In, in the mirror match. It can happen. And it wasn't in the mirror match. No, it was, it was Evil Ryu versus, versus, versus Ryu. Which I can see, I can understand. But but Kage versus Guile, bruh? Yeah, bruv. Do you think Daigo knows the match? We're featuring a one. Does he know he's the teleport Sacco. setups? He's trained with Sacco, bro. Does he know the teleport <laughs> setups, bro? <laughs> hey, this is... This We're going to find out. I'm gassed. I'm excited. Alex Vaye versus Daigo. I didn't think I'd be saying that again anytime it's soon. It's 2019 fellas. and we got Daigo versus Vaye on stream for you right now. Right. Evo 2019. Anything can happen. We're bringing losers matches to you for this and this only. A one-off exception made. Thank you very much to the stage director who brought us this match. I appreciate it. Here we go. Yeah, the crowd pop off for every opportunity. I go abusing that crouching medium kick. Knowing that <laughs> Kage's <laughs> lack of range. <laughs> Kage literally has T Rex limbs. Nice red fireball. He's got legs like Deadpool when he's a baby. Ooh, that what is the a activation. Choice. We're going on a journey into the corner. Oh, oh this time is meaty. Plus three on that as well. Such a good poke. Oh, we'll cut the goes oh. in. V-Trick is almost spent. Last nice. speed reversal, speed reversal straight, straight away. away. Not and interested. the trigger is gone. He's not going to get another one back unless he crush counters him about 15 times. Knocked down. Goes in. Oh, my days. You get chipped, though. He's got oh, CA. That's it. That's yeah. it. You cannot do nothing, mate. So clever from Daigo. Worth spending. He had the bar. Takes that first round against Valle. Back fist, don't walk forward. Where's the jump in? Holds the throw. No quick rise from Daigo, so Valle able to walk up and get the meaty timing. Oh, one close. Two. Oh, just missed that dark kick. Sweep in the middle of your string. Cross counter. V reversing at all of the most opportune, opportune moments. Yeah, it's such a good V reversal. The fact it knocks down for a projectile character like Garl. The activation plus a time. lot. Has to take that pressure. Oh! Hey, I told you, bro. I told you. Oh, oh, oh. It's not ready. Jeez. Oh, oh. look. That definitely wasn't plus, but Last that was. Let's cross up Tatsu. Good defense from Daigo, stays in this round. Gets a cross counter. 
Oh, that hurt. Not against Cal oh, four. my God. Kage's got no health. Oh, He's got no double. Double and single hit. No cards up there. Red fireballs. Oh, oh why? It's he upset. risked it. Oh. I think he saw it, maybe. I don't know. It's a true string. Low forward um, fireballs are true string, so it was a guess. No, no fireball when he saw the leg go up. Dude, the oh, thing that was that slow as hell. Straight away, bro. Might have been, yeah. Straight I mean, it's Daigo. I'm trying to give him the benefit of the doubt, but I think he just did it. You can definitely react to the stomp. <clears throat> you can definitely react like a, to the stomp. It was like a fierce one as well, man. Yeah, so if he does uh, light or medium, it's generally a true string, unless he does it off of, like a light button. The heavy one you can interrupt. So you can always, if you see the leg come up, you can press buttons at all times. Well, Daigo is ready Low on forward that forward fireball, of course, is a, uh, a true string. Fireball is minus three. Crap's medium, but nothing else. Trying to go in now. Ooh. Great clutch from Daigo to bring that round back. Got hit by all the shenanigans and still won the round. Oh, trying to bait out some kind of anti-air. Didn't come. Just overhead. And he activates now. Yeah, super plus off that. Plasma on the screen. V reversal, yeah, v -reversal of course. Reversal immediately, and it just wastes the trigger. He's anticipating that jump fireball every time, and the Oy, fast kick from through there. the fireball. Yes. Daigo making started. all the right decisions here, and it proving very difficult for Alex Vai to even get in. Choice falling towards him. Part of reversal again. Goes in oh, and gets the throw. Daigo, three rounds straight, and look at the crowd that has come together to see this El Clasico. And it looks like... But it's not going to plan. Looks like Daigo is going to spoil the mood. Ooh. Jeez, that hits from so far away. Of course, the Shoto fireball animation, the arms hang out. It's an enormous hitbox, hurtbox. Lingering and Daigo taking full advantage of that with a flash kick. The reversal, reversal again, course. just like clockwork. It's almost... It's almost not worth doing. Protected that DP. Oh, what? That worked out. This could be the end for Valle. Massive life lead for Daigo and the V-Trigger spent. Tried wow, an overhead, not going to happen. The overhead.